Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So it wasn't that long ago that Shakur Stevenson, he was describing Tyson Fury as if he was the Floyd Mayweather of the heavyweight division. And that's not an exaggeration, by the way, because Shakur Stevenson, he literally said, and I quote, I never seen nothing like Tyson Fury before. He is amazing. And of course, what he's really known for is saying that Tyson Fury would beat Muhammad Ali. He followed that up by saying he doesn't see any heavyweights from any era beating Tyson Fury. Well, you fast forward to present day, and it turns out you didn't need a former great heavyweight champion or just one of the former champions to beat Tyson Fury because a fighter who had never in his entire life had boxed pro or amateur damn near just did exactly what Shakur Stevenson said no heavyweight, no previous heavyweight of any era would have been able to do. And of course, that's Francis Ngannou. Now listen, guys. I completely understand psychology. I've already broken down why Shakur Stevenson even said these things. You can go back and watch my previous videos on the topics of Shakur Stevenson completely overpraising fighters like Bam Bam Rodriguez, Tyson Fury, while at the same time going out of his way to completely discredit a fighter like Devin Haney. Now, what's so interesting is Shakur Stevenson actually dissed me when I was trying to give him the free knowledge by telling him, don't overpraise a fighter like Bam Bam Rodriguez that doesn't even deserve that praise because old media, they are going to use him against you. They're going to start saying he's greater than you are. And probably less than a year after I made that video, when Shakur Stevenson felt he deserved to be fighter of the year, they gave the Fighter of the Year award to Bam Bam Rodriguez and Tyson Fury. Rodriguez, he got the Men's Fighter of the Year award, and Tyson Fury, he got the Boxer of the Year award. Shakur Stevenson, he literally made a video, recorded himself watching a Bam Bam Rodriguez fight, shaking his head, saying, man, this guy is so special. Man, he's so special. He made it sound as if Bam Bam Rodriguez was on the level of Shakur Stevenson himself, a Javante Tank Davis, a Jerron Ennis, or a Devin Haney. Well, you fast forward to present day and old media has already jumped off the Bam Bam Rodriguez wagon. They're no longer even talking about him because shortly after they start praising him, he started to get exposed and put on poor performances against lesser opposition. And needless to say, Shakur Stevenson doesn't say anything about Bam Bam Rodriguez anymore either. So once again, after Shakur Stevenson seen Tyson Fury beat Dillian White, he said, and I quote, I never seen nothing like Tyson Fury before. He is amazing. Well, you fast forward to present day, after Tyson Fury tries to pull off a Mayweather type of exhibition money grab and nearly loses to Francis Ngannou, even gets knocked down. And just for the record, it wasn't an exhibition. It was a real 10 round fight that almost every professional boxing expert feels Francis Ngannou won. Now Shakur, he didn't do what he did after the Devin Haney Lomachenko fight, jump in the ring and say that Lomachenko won that fight. You know, he should be the champion. He didn't even get on Twitter and do that in defense of Francis Ngannou. But what he did do is for the first time, he took a little bit of accountability by admitting he was wrong with what he had said about Tyson Fury previously. Someone on Twitter reached out to Shakur Stevenson and this is the beauty of social media today. Everything I say on my videos, fans on Twitter and Instagram and all these other social media accounts, they make sure that my message spreads. So it's really cool because I don't even use Twitter, but yet once I make my video, that message, it gets expedited all across social media. And fans, they often reach out to these fighters directly on once again, IG or Twitter. This boxing fan in particular, he reached out to Shakur and he says, Shakur, I F with you, bro. But all that Fury beat Ali-ish again, Ali accepts your apology. And for the record, guys, ever since Shakur Stevenson pulled off the whole Tyson Fury stunt, the Bam Bam Rodriguez stunt, the Devin Haney Lomachenko stunt, ever since he said all of these things, fans on the internet have been killing Shakur. This is the reason why Shakur has said that he's like the most hated guy in boxing right now because he's received a lot of backlash from all of those statements that he has made previously. And once again, when I say backlash, I'm talking about from real boxing fans, 
We're not talking about the race fans because they don't really count. So anyway, getting back to the message that was sent to Shakur Stevenson on Twitter by a boxing fan, Shakur, he responded by saying, yeah, got to take my L's on the chin. I'm with you. I was just banking on the size for real, for real, but I don't know what he was on today, 100. Once again, I don't know why Shakur keeps trying to use this. I was just banking on the size excuse because if Shakur Stevenson has been watching boxing, and I'm sure he knows by now since he's talked about this situation, he knows about a fighter by the name of Nikolai Valuev. Nikolai Valuev was taller than Tyson Fury, was way bigger than Tyson Fury, and he was the heavyweight champion of the world. Shakur Stevenson said he couldn't see anybody in any era of the heavyweight division beating Tyson Fury because of his size. And guess who beat the Goliath Nikolai Valuev and took his title? Not even a heavyweight, a cruiserweight by the name of David Hay. So my point is, as experienced as Shakur Stevenson is in the sport of boxing, as much knowledge as he has, he's been boxing his whole life. There's no way that Shakur Stevenson cannot know that a fighter is not going to automatically be superior over every other fighter just because of his height and his size. So even though Shakur Stevenson is admitting that he was wrong, he's still trying to water it down by saying things like, oh, you know, I was just thinking about the size and I don't know what was wrong with Tyson Fury. Francis Ngannou is what was wrong with Tyson Fury. For Shakur to say something like that, clearly he never watched the Tyson Fury versus Steve Cunningham fight. Another cruiserweight versus heavyweight example. Steve Cunningham, who was outweighed by what, about 80 pounds? The night of the fight, he managed to knock down Tyson Fury. And before this Francis Ngannou fight became Tyson Fury's most difficult fight of his career, it could be argued that the Steve Cunningham fight was the most difficult fight of Tyson Fury's career at that time. So at the end of the day, Shakur Stevenson, he definitely took some L's. He took multiple L's and hopefully he has learned from that. We'll see if that is the case. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.